All right, let's get started with C++. As is tradition, we're going to start with a Hello World program. In this video, we're going to follow along section 2.2.1 of Strasstrup's The C++ Programming Language Book. Okay, so here is the smallest possible C++ program. It's just an empty function called main. Every C++ program must contain exactly one function called main, and this is where the execution of the program is going to start. Uh, you can find this code snippet on Godbolt at the link there if you want to see it work for yourself, but so far it doesn't really do much. So let's look at the anatomy of the main function here. On the left at the start it says int, and that's the return value of main. The main function should return an, an integer. In the parentheses to the right of main is where we write the parameters of the main function. This main function that we have here has no parameters, so it's just left empty in between the parentheses. A main function can have par parameters, and for example, this is used when you want a program that takes arguments from the command line, but we're not going to make use of that in this course. Now main is a special function. You see that it's supposed to return an int, but in the body of the function here, we're, we're not doing anything, we're not returning anything. So normally a function would complain if you're supposed to return a value and, and you don't. But main is special in this regard. If the main function terminates, then it's going to automatically return the value zero for us. A return value of zero is traditionally used to indicate that the program terminated successfully. If your program crashes, then you can see a non-zero return value. And the value that's returned uh, can indicate what, kind of, what went wrong, what kind of error you had. So although by default main returns the value zero for us, I think it's always good practice to explicitly return zero at the end of main. So this part of the practice of communicating to others with your code. We don't want the user to be surprised at the behavior of, of our code. So I think it's always good to explicitly include everything that we intend to happen. So we've done that here. So now in main, we just say return zero. All right, here we are, the hello world program. To main, we just add one more statement which says std colon colon c out then less than less than hello world so here we're using something called the standard output stream object c out and we use that to write to the console the less than less than symbol following the c out is called the insertion operator and it inserts the string that follows into the output stream Cout is defined in a library called iostream, and the compiler needs the definition of cout for our program to run. So at the top of the program, now we say pound include iostream in angle brackets. And essentially what this does is it just copies, copies and pastes the code of the iostream library into our program so that all the definitions in this library are now available to our code. So after the insertion operator, we have a string that's given between double quotes. And at the end of that string, we have you see we have this backslash in, and that's called the new line character. So we add that uh, to get a new line. So if we were to print something else after this hello world statement, it would start on a new line. So I remember the insertion operator because I think it looks like a mouth which is shouting the, the string that follows. Okay, so that's how I remember that it's uh, for C out we use the less than less than because it kind of looks like a mouth saying the string that follows it. And the insertion operator is quite convenient to use. Uh, we can use it multiple times to concatenate strings together. So the output of this program is exactly the same as the previous one. The string hello and the string space world are just going to be concatenated together here. 
And we could equivalently do it as follows. We could have the first a string hello, then the single character, which is just a space, and then world. Okay, so we can use single characters with the insertion operator as well. And in C++, single characters are just denoted between uh, single quotes. All right, so that's our first Hello World program.